Good morning. My name is Jordan Gross, and I am the Associate Director of Student and Family Ministries at Mount Tabor. And I feel very fortunate to uh, share a word with you this morning, this afternoon, wherever you might be in your day. Uh, this week, our focus is hope as an anchor. And so I wanted to read an excerpt from a devotional written by Bob Goff, who I really enjoy. Um, and I just pray that this word might uh, provide you with uh, something that your soul uh, might benefit from today. It reads, I've been with plenty of friends when they received a devastating diagnosis. I've learned there's nothing you can say to someone who just learned they have one year to live. There's no pep talk for someone who's just been told they'll likely never get out of the wheelchair. Sometimes the only re appropriate response is to grab a hand and cry. I've also lived long enough to watch these friends stare into the face of uncertainty and choose hope. They've chosen to say, sure, the odds are against me, but God is not. They've chosen to hope for an extra decade with their families or to imagine one more walk by the ocean. Why? Because choosing the way of hope is far better than anything uncertainty puts in front of us. We might not have faced anything as devastating as these things, but we've all faced the choice between hope and fear. Whether it's questions about what exactly will happen when we pass away, or uncertainty about whether we'll find love in our lives down the road, we've had to face the unknown. But when we stand at this intersection, fear tries to shrivel our hearts and shrink us down. Hope is the opposite though. It swells our hearts and makes us expand. Hope restores the life fear tries to steal. Yesterday already happened and tomorrow isn't here yet. We only have today. We've got people to encourage and another huge invitation to a life of whimsy. We can either wring our hands about what we don't know, allowing fear to take over the moment, or we can choose hope and let love reign. The path is yours and mine to choose every day. What will it be for you today?